finger on this string only. Huh? <laughs> That's the best part. Fuck what anyone thinks, fuck what anyone says, fuck how anyone feels. Music belongs to you and no one else. So that's a goodie. It's a real goodie. What's that called? It's called a goodie. A goodie. Norman is quite an extreme character. Would you imagine the audience will sympathize with him? I think like because we are living in, an, in a time where we are surrounded by all of these tablets and smartphones and stuff and we are like very much uh, in the face of technology and there is like a, a deep personalization mode going on like hidden ideologies I think it's very important to have in cinema the possibility to have an exploration of a very um, ecstatic and expressive and excessive exploration of feeling and we what we tried to do as, as, as a team was like to have a, a, a very equalized way of um, being honest to a person going through a trauma and, and um, how it affects the people he loves and how he deals with love and what is too much and too little because he's living with this, this problematic that he lost his anchor for love very early on in life like his parents so he doesn't know um, how, to, how to discuss love or how to express it. Caleb Landry Jones really carries the film. He's in almost every scene. From your perspective, what does he bring to the role? What Caleb brings to the role, the thing is like, um, Caleb is one of these very rare human beings and artists that, that I can find um, where I have the feeling there is something, there is something of a Kinski, there is something of a Brando, but there is also something of a Sid Barrett, you know, and, and there is something of a Kurt Cobain, there is something um, that I want to have in the ideas that I try to find for cinema as a, as a, as a companion, as a collaborator. So, um, he's a light figure. Can you do He's also a musician. Was that one reason you cast him, or was that just a kind of bonus that he could also play music? Well, the, the, the crazy thing is, like, years ago, before I even thought of casting, I saw a film where, where he was in the movie, and I thought, who is this person? And then I looked him up and saw that he's also a musician, and he was kind of, um, because at this time I was searching for the name for the baby Norman and Penelope has, and I thought, oh, I call the name Caleb, because I love this guy. <laughs> and, um, and when I found out that he's a musician, I thought maybe at some point when I'm really lucky and being able to do a movie maybe in English, um, he would be interested in working together. And, and the funny thing is really after we met, like one day after we met the first time in LA, then he was coming to, to our place and we had um, in an Airbnb a little piano and immediately he was sitting there and playing piano and I knew, okay, hopefully we can find through music a universal language for, for uh, you know, a language barrier between German and English. And r the, the funny thing is sometimes the whole process felt like doing a song or an album, so it was kind of, yeah, doing music together in a way. <laughs>